Welcome back, guys, for playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay, so, doing a couple things. I have a handful of secret bosses and absent silhouettes across the land that we need to take on. I don't know if I'm going to do them all, because I honestly don't know if I'm good enough to do them all. But, I am going to try and level up at least to take on my boy Sephiroth. And I feel like that's kind of a, a decent pathway to do that. Take on the, the secret bosses or the absent silhouettes, grind a little bit, and then uh, challenge my man. Now, I found this method to be extremely useful. I have the uh, Gold Wing Keyblade that boosts your experience 100% in critical, quote unquote, critical moments. To do that, you just need to have a certain like tier of health knocked down, and you don't even have to have your like that little alert that you're in danger blinking. So these guys I brought up before when we were doing this earlier uh, in the playthrough kick off 42 experience points each, but now there are three times that, I think, at 126 uh, when I'm using this Keyblade. They will drop, though, down to 42 once my health gets to a certain threshold, so it's like right, right about there. You'll see it transition, I think, from 126 to 42 points of experience any moment. I had to change some, like, settings to tell my partners to stop attacking and just let me do it. So that way, well, they'll they'll attack the enemy that I'm attacking. But I don't want them to go out and attack other, like, enemies and whatnot because it breaks what I'm doing. See, right there. So that's where the threshold is for my level of health. I'm at level 60-something now. So I'm just going to let them beat me up a little bit. They drop health orbs here. So you have, like, you, you kind of you kind of can't help it. You, you'll end up grabbing the things, the health orbs, because you're jumping around. They'll be collected by you or whomever while you're in the air or when you're just running on the ground here. You can't really avoid them. But it, taking damage and getting getting that, that, that certain low level of health is, is pretty easy. So I'm doing this just a, a little bit, just to grind a little bit. And then we're going to move on, and I'm going to go after one of the absent silhouettes. Uh, I, I forget the name of the one that I wanted to fight, but it's the one at the sand lot, whatever that one was. I'm going to see if we can beat him. I also got to reposition myself because it always wants to like pull and draw him into that like little entry path and I miss out on defeating all the other enemies. Okay, so let him hit me, knock me down. And I was doing some research trying to find the best way to level up, the best way to get experience and farm that. And some people were saying it was this earlier on, like, but then they patched it later in later iterations of the game and that's just not true. You can leave and come back and there's like a 1 in 10 chance that these things will be here. You don't even have to leave the world. Just leave the room and come back. I've, I've had them back to back as well. There's always there's always at least one enemy up here, no matter what. I'm glad the game doesn't require you to be in that low level of health. Even though I am right now. Because that's really annoying. Like, it's not required, but I just let myself get hit a little too much. Simba's getting his butt kicked, too. It's also a great place to farm lightning shards. I'm only going to do this a couple more times. Just because I need to be ready. The challenge, what's his face? Okay, so here... Alright, so now... Okay, whatever, Simba. If I leave, go to the King's Den and come back... There's one usually, yeah, unless, yeah, it's my math is like one in 10, like 10%. But there's been several times I've been grinding this and it's been back to back swarms every time, which is weird. I think like three times it was back to back to back to back. You just do this every time and then eventually they'll show up again, which is pretty sweet. I figured that out pretty much right away. I'm surprised no one else did. Like, because I think, I think I got lucky that the first time I came up here after the fact, just to check it out, like when there was no boss, there was a swarm. And then I beat them and then left, and then it was just one, and I was like, that's weird. And then I came back later, and it was just one again, and I was like, hmm, I'm just going to put back, put two and two together. And then I was like, okay, the swarm is random. There we go. Yeah, see, so it's not too hard. And then I usually just jump up here, and then that's what brings a swarm down. Because sometimes uh, you'll stand there, and the swarm doesn't come... Like, the attackable portion of the swarm doesn't show up. But, as you saw just now, jumping up in the air attracts them, and they come down to you from that point. Yeah, 
say, the Gold Wing's not a particularly strong blade, but the experience gains, man. It's worth it. I do wish it wasn't, like, circumstantial for the experience. Like, oh, you have to be down, like, a third of your health or whatever that, that is. I don't, I don't know what the exact number is, but I think it's about a third. Just like, dude, let me use the Keyblade. Do that. Make it a, the weakest damaging Keyblade, but make it give it the most experience. Sim is always getting KO'd. Yeah, so you jump up in the air and then it brings him down. Careful of that. I don't want to fall in there. There's still a lot of enemies and experience that we can gain, but let's take a little damage. So I think I'm right at that point where it's going to start throwing 42s at me. I wasn't paying attention. It might already be doing it. See, you notice that Simba and Donald will not attack. They, I have it set where they will only attack if I'm the one doing the attacking. So when I'm attacking an enemy, they'll then attack that enemy with me, but they won't go out and venture and attack any other enemies on the field. I just wanted them to kind of keep their distance so they didn't break up anything that I was trying to do. I also told them to stop healing it as well. Took all the potions away and then told them, like, don't use your, your cure or heal ability. Okay, now it's at 42s again. Come on. There we go. I just felt compelled to grab those, even though, like, I definitely don't need them. Okay, and then check again. Yep, see, and then they're here. See, so, like, sometimes it's back-to-back. -back. I don't know why or how or what makes it do that, but... Everybody's that I've, I've looked up online said you want to be at least 70-something to take on Sephiroth, but I heard he's easier in this game than Kingdom Hearts 1. I found him to be a total nightmare in the first game until, for the first and only time, I leveled up to level 100, and then I stomped him. First try. Was it first try? Definitely in the first two or three tries, if it wasn't the first try. I think it was the first. Maybe it was a second try. I don't remember. But it was like, it was not, I was not frustrated at all, which is shocking. There. Yep, see, right at that threshold again. Give me up a little bit. A little more damage. Come on, dummy. There we go. See, so the music even changed because they stopped battling me. I do wish that the Colosseum had a better way 
of like delivering challenges and, and gaining XP because I don't think you can gain XP in like pretty much anything in there, which is really annoying. Like, I feel like this was designed intentionally for the purpose of grinding up because there's not really a, an effective way of utilizing your time in growing levels, you know? I also have to be super careful because if they do knock me out, I'm going to lose all my levels. All right, so after some grinding, I got up to level 70. I was going to go to 65, but I decided, you know what, let's push a little further and go to 70. Hopefully that'll be enough to take on, uh, what's his name, Laxeus? 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 Uh, down in the sand lot. So he should be there. He's one person that I haven't defeated yet as far as the absent silhouettes, and I'm ready to take him down. Let's get there, baby. I have no idea how difficult this is going to be. I recall it being kind of hard, and I'm really hoping that I can beat him. I'm nervous that it's going to take skill and not level. Uh, where is a sandlot? There it is. Okay, cool. There you are. Oh, bastard. All right. Oh, let's also change. Let's see. Sora has a gold wing. Let's swap that out for... Which one do I want? I think we're going to go with... Which one was it? Which one was I using? No. Hold on, let's see. Star Seeker 2 become one. I'm wondering if I should swap out for that. Seeming Lion, Mysterious Abyss. I'm trying to decide which one I want to fight him with. I never even got a chance to use the Wishing Lamp. Let's see. I think if I go... Oh, Oblivion. Of course, because Oblivion is on the other side. That's right. Wrong one. That's right. We're going to obliviate this bitch. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's check it out. All right, Laxius. Let's see if I can take you out. Damn. This one hell of a blade. I fought him once before, and he creamed me. Let's see this, uh... I don't even, I actually didn't customize either. I should do that too. I'm just gonna go for raw strength right now and hopefully that'll be enough to take him out. Hopefully. Oh, he's the earth one. He's got a lot of health. That's right, he's not doing a lot of damage yet. Man. I have no idea if this is... Well, we're doing pretty well as far as... Dishing damage and damage taken, so he might go down. Yeah, we got this. We got this punk. It's over. Take this. Yeah. Wait, what? What the hell? Oh, that was a painful one. Yeah, you, oh, Jesus. He has the most brutal attacks, I think, of anyone. Damn, there we go. Ah, dirtbag. Nice. That was like super easy. We beat him in under five minutes. An accessory slot. Fantastic. Mm hmm. That's the best. Hey, get out of here, bitch. Punk ass D bag. Bam. Nighty night, Laxius. Do we get an achievement for that? I send there to be the required special materials. Strength beyond strength. Strength boost, maybe? Lost illusion. 
no achievement. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, items. Sora. Accessory. Skillful ring. Five, four, one, two. Yeah. Let's pop that. Sora has abilities. So we got ten slots open. Thunder boost draw. Oh, Berserk Charge. Yeah, we need to pop that on. I forgot I got that too. Negative combo. No, we're good. And then as far as items are concerned, let's see. Drive recovery. Okay, let's go. I really wish there was something for the Sandlot for like winning this fight, but there's not. Which is weird. Alright, we'll go to the usual spot. There's no Moogle in the usual spot, right? Really wouldn't make a lot of sense to have one here, but... Alright, let's go... Let's see... This is the one where I remember it being closest right here. We have a lot of stuff to dump with the Moogle. Okay, so we'll synthesize that. Serenity Crystal. Okay. So many lightning shards. Recipes. Moon Amulet. Centurion. Fascinating. Yeah, what are you? Not really gonna worry about that. Okay, so then, now that we've taken out Laxius, I know we don't have Mars Lucia. We haven't beaten Mars Lucia yet. We beat Larxene, Laxius. Did we beat Zexion? I don't remember. I don't remember if he's there. He might be. Uh, let's see. I don't remember. Let's find out if Zexion is here. Because if so, and I haven't beaten him, then I should be able to stomp him, like, with ease. I remember where the spot is. It's like around a corner off to the side to the left. Yeah, it would have been right here, I think. I think we beat him, right? Is there a way to tell? I think it was right there. I'm pretty sure we did. Okay, well, all right. I was just curious. Okay, so that means Marluxia is the next one. And I heard Marluxia is rather difficult. And then Vexen as well. I need, I need revenge on Vexen. But we'll save that for another video. We're going to go ahead and land. We're at... Uh, where is this location? The parlor. The beast's room. Yeah, the beast room, because I think that's where Marluxia is. Right there. Yep, okay. All right. We'll go ahead and save it here, and we'll take on Marluxia in the next episode of the playthrough. If you enjoyed this one, though, you can share your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark 9 Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you and me continue with more of our playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. See you next time.